All right, so check this out. I'm walking to the Boulder Farmer's Market, pockets full of bison tallow balm. It's sunny, it's hot, and I see this beautiful bearded man, and I'm like, that's the unstoppable surfer. And then I saw the Bali on the back, so I've been following this guy because he, hey, I'm about to find out right now, but I believe y'all travel the world. Yeah, we're the unstoppable family. Uh, the whole family. Yeah, right I'm here. the unstoppable mama, she's the unstoppable girl, and this is the unstoppable surfer. Yeah. And she, they're doing, you're on a book launch, your second book? Is this yeah, this is, our, this is our second book of the Wild series, for Women Gone Wild. So we came in from Bali, to launch this book in LA with a big red carpet event, it was epic. And now we decided to take a road trip to come to Boulder to see the Grateful Dead because yes. we're Grateful Dead fans before we head back to Bali. This Why is not? A, this is amazing, and this is your beautiful daughter. Yeah. So Hanalei. 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 Okay. And then I saw her, y'all. You had an amazing professional video for your first book, right? Yeah. What's the name of that one? Uh, how to be raised an unstoppable kid. I wrote it when I was about 11 years old with my mom, uh, talking about how to be an unstoppable kid, live your dreams now, and not waiting for the future to be an entrepreneur. I, I love that, not waiting for the future. That, yeah. The future is right now. Yeah. So what is happening. the thing? It's not what, yeah. what do you want to be when you grow up? It's what do you want to be now? That's what we asked her. That is uh, some great wisdom for such a young lady. Um, if, you, do you, if you have children in the future, how do you plan on helping them become more unstoppable? I would want to allow them to do what they, what brings them the most joy in life. Like really following your heart, I think is the biggest key to life. Like just following that path of what brings you light, what brings you joy and what inspires you. Like wow. really directing that way. And I'm curious about maybe a little nitty gritty of a strategy because when I walked by you and I saw y'all, I noticed like you said, follow your heart. I, what I do, I noticed my heart. It kind of felt like a butterfly. I was like, yeah. I think I need to go. I'm sure that's that. is that it was, It's family? funny because I looked at you guys and I was like, I was like, oh, we kind of know each other somehow. I don't know who he is, <laughs> <laughs> but she's got Tevas on. Tune in tap. <laughs> so that's kind of how I do it. What about y'all? Do y'all need strategies? Like, how does one follow their heart? I know you got books about. Yeah, it. I mean, obviously, the, the, I mean, the second series of the Wild series is intuition, and it's really, you know, I think our intuition not, doesn't come from our head. We think logically. It usually will come from your heart or your gut. Like you always, know, where's the intuition come from? It's like it's either a feeling you've got or it's something in your heart. Where you're like, I just. I feel like I need to meet that person or there's something connected that we've got. And I think the more we remember that, the more connected we really are. And I, that's what really we, our mission is, especially for women with Women Gone Wild. It's like, how do we bring more women together to go, hey sister, I know you, let's work together. Where as we used to be so separated and fighting to get better. And I think now globally, the more we tap into our heart, and follow that and not be afraid to say, hey bro, what's up, I got a beer brought, I know you. <laughs> The more we look, I just gave me goosebumps. See, that's the tap. That's it. God that was this, the, the test tap. Oh, nice. So I call those god bumps too. Like, yeah, exactly. if I get the goosebumps, I'm like, I better be taking yep, action yep. right now. It's time to take action on that feeling. Well, I have a daughter that's six, and I'm just like so proud of y'all as parents. Like, what a beautiful, cool like, lifestyle you've chosen for your family. I mean, what about from the parents' perspective? How did you have the courage and the tenacity to keep? I'm sure you faced many challenges. Was there like a mantra or something, a trick? How do you how do you travel with your family around the world and do such a beautiful thing? We lost cool. everything and said, fuck it. Uh, okay. <laughs> it's true, you know, no, and, and uh, it's 07, 08, yeah. So it's in, it was in 07, 08, she was one year old. But my dot, my wife, she made a vow never to put our children, when we only had one, in daycare. My dad died of AIDS when I was 16. So from 11 to 16, I got to see what death was. Hmm. And he went, took us traveling all around the world. So we live in the moment where you never are guaranteed another day in your life. And so why we decided to, to do this road trip, it's like, this is our favorite route in the world. We're gonna go see the Grateful Dead. This is their last words. Like, you don't get these moments ever again. Yeah. That's it, yeah. life's about moments, experiences. Yeah, but I mean, we, we, we had to put our ego at the door. We lost everything. We lived in San Diego, the big house. Here she's born. Uh, my daughter's born in company. San Diego. Yeah. In Lucadia. Wow, we used to live in Lucadia, oh, actually. Wow. Yeah, you were born in San Diego? <laughs> she was born in San Diego, oh, yeah. Oh, wow, wow, yeah. okay. Yeah, and it was just one of those moments where like, wait, the money in our bank account doesn't define us as parents. I had quit corporate, he quit corporate so we could raise her, build our company. And our company was already online in 04. So we're like, wait, it's 07, 08, it was 08. Let's just leave. And so we've literally just been traveling around the world since she's been one and just spreading inspiration to people around the world. And of course, naturally, our branding company grew. We own a branding and PR firm. So we decided to write books and help people spread their message.
Amazing, amazing. <laughs> I, I love it. I, I, I just meeting y'all is an affirmation. Yeah, for me. same. So we'll, That's we'll, so good. We'll see if we can get them on the full break and we'll podcast. Yeah, we'll let's check do out it. Their books, yeah, their it's in title. Walmart. It's in Target, Barnes and Noble, and if they don't have it, you got to ask for it. They'll Man, get it for you. Sounds like we have some distribution <laughs> experts here as well. So more discussions to come. Yes. Thank y'all. Cheers. Bye.